one of the good example for JavaScript is, uh, for example, any developer wants to display a pop-up on the website. So that can be displayed by using the JavaScript. Let's move on to the next topic. So we'll see how to download and install Node.js in your machine. You can go to the google.com here and search for the download Node.js. You can go to the first link here. So Node.js.org followed by downloads. Make sure that you are clicking on this particular link. And here you will find the different section for the different operating system. So if you look at here, so this is a Windows installer and Windows binary. And for Mac, it's a different, uh, for Linux, it is a different. So in my case, it's a Windows. So that's the reason if based on your operating system, you can go to the 32 bit or 64 bit. In my case, it's a 64 bit. I have clicked on this particular 64 bit and I got the .exe file to install the Node.js in my system. And if your system is Mac and you can click on this Mac section. So once you click on this particular 64 or the 64 for, with respect to the based on the operating system. So you will get the like this .exe file. Simply you need to click double click on this .exe file and it will try to identify the space requirement in your system. Make sure that you have connected the internet in your machine. So in my case, I have already installed it. So steps are very simple. So once it's able to identify your system is capable of taking the Node.js software in, in your system. So simply it will compute that criteria. Once, the, once it is ready, simply it will enable the next button. So installation process is very simple. So simply click on the next. In my case, I have already installed it. So here I'm just canceling it. So once the installation is completed, you need to verify whether Node.js is installed in your system or not. Simply you can go to the command prompt and here you type the node space hyphen v. So if Node.js is installed in your system properly, so you will see the version of the Node.js. That means in my case, it is already installed. That's a 16.14.2 version. So once you got the version, that means Node.js is installed in your system successfully. So that's all about the Node.js. Now let's see how to download and install the Visual Studio code. So this is the editor for to program the JavaScript, right? So you can go to the google.com and here you need to search for download Visual Studio code. And you can click on the very first link. It is a code.visualstudio.com and followed by download. You can click on this first link. And here, in my case, I'm using the Windows system. So that's the reason I have downloaded by clicking on this particular button, Windows. And if you are using Mac, you can click on this particular Mac button. So once you click on this Mac button, so whatever Windows or the Mac, so you will it will download the .exe file for you. So make sure that you have connected the internet after downloading as well. So simply you can double click on this particular set of file and uh, you can start installing it. So steps are very uh, straightforward and you can go ahead and install it. So once the installation is done, simply in the start type, Visual Studio code. So if installation is completed successfully, you will get the app like this. Simply you need to click on this one. And uh, this is the editor for the JavaScript programming language. So that's all about the how to install Visual Studio code in your system.